Hello again, I'm Rodney Reynolds from 3dgameman.com. You can also visit me on my personal site at rodneyreynolds.com. This next question is about the Ivory Bridge EHEDT processor. Now, I just went over what HEDT is, so you don't have to ask me about what that is, right? <laughs> you can do a search for it if you don't know. The new Ivory Bridge E processor is supposedly going to be released later on in 2013. Um, fourth quarter, I believe, yeah, some speculation or rumor if it's, you know, going to be released at all because Haswell's being released before, you know, in June, that's being released in July. So I don't know what's going on here with this, to be honest, but um, it's supposedly released uh, later on of this year. Who knows exactly when, but what is with the, you know, Ivory Bridge E uh, as opposed to the Ivory Bridge. Well, you know, better performance and there's unlocked options, quad core options, six core options and varying prices, you know, supposedly tweak performance. And let me just go over a few things about the Ivory Bridge E, H E, uh, I'll tell you what H E D T is, okay? <laughs> High end desktop processor is all about. So it's uh, it has the 22 nanometer uh, manufacturing process, third generation uh, high KT metal gate process processor core. Uh, improvements would be improved CPU performance. Well, we hope so. Uh, 40 lane uh, PCI Express generation three, four channels of DDR3 at 1866 uh, megahertz, uh, Intel Turbo Boost technology two, uh, Intel hyper threading technology, and some of the processors are going to be unlocked. It depends. The unlocked ones will be, I suspect, three to six hundred dollar range. And of course, like always, you have processors that are thousand dollars plus. And of course, the uh, uh, the Ivory Bridge E processor is going to be um, based on the uh, the chipset compatibility would be the X79 uh, and uh, it's the LGA 2011. So if you have an X79 board, you're fine. If you want to go ahead and upgrade uh, to this particular processor, if you don't want to go with Haswell, you can, you know, do that's another option if you want to do that. So I hope that answers your question and keep them coming. You can post them on 3 dgameman.com or you can shoot me an email at techquestions at 3dgameman.com.